Short Pixels versus uh, PS1 composite via. Oh, okay, okay. Ah, see so yeah. Yeah, like the pixels on this, it's really made for CRT because it, like the CRT, it, it kind of blurs things a bit, so it it makes it work. It makes it work. And this is why I still have a CRT TV. It's uh, uh where, where did I put it? I think it's underneath. Uh, yeah, it's underneath my Lego table right now. And it, like this is like such a cool art form because a lot of a lot of time like indie. Devs, I feel like when they make a retro style game, they make it look like this. They just making it look really pixely and, and, and shitty on purpose to capture that retro look, but that's not the point. That's not the point. Back then, when they make pixel art, this is what they have in mind. Like this right here. And this is what people don't understand. This is what you should be going for. Not this. And... And that's a problem. Like in a lot of indie jobs, they, they think this is what retro looks like, but that's not the case. This is what they should be going for. Ah, see, look at this. It looks, yeah, it looks a lot smoother. In a sense, you can almost see more details here, but everything just looks really blocked here. Right? But here, it, it actually looks like the Pfizer. It's the, the 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 green part is smooth, right, because of the nature of CRT. And even the glasses, like everything just looks better over here. And then, of course, like I said, I already complained about how indie games these, these days are pursuing this look. Right, in fact, they should be going for this look. Oh, oh man. Looking at this, like it, it soothes my soul, man. Like looking at this, it's, it's, it's pleasing. It's very pleasing. Oh my god, this is like... Oh man. <laughs> uh, this is actually really cool. Yeah, like the, the single pixel red eye, it becomes like, oh man. See, like back then, the, the devs, they, they understand. They understand how to make pixel art. They understand CRT and pixel art and how to make them blend together to create a unique art form. Look at this. Like basically, they, they pretty much turned this into this. This is what they made, but this is what we see. It, that is crazy. That is crazy. Oh man. So like, the, I think the difference is, is that indie games, like indie 2D games these days, they they try to make them look shitty on purpose. Whereas back then, they they try to make them look as good as possible with the of the limitations. That is the difference. Like this is like an imitation of old art, uh, old pixel art, without understanding what makes them charming. Oh man. I feel like this is the best example of modern indie pixel arts and, and actual good pixel art. Oh no, I wonder like how how like I guess they can replicate this by creating this and adding a filter on it when they make the game. Like I know nothing about like creating pixel art, but I kind of wonder how they can recreate this type of look. Because a lot of games say this is what they look like now, right? When you play the pixel, the two D pixel games these days. But this is what we see back then. Look at the difference. Like these ones, it captures the basic look, but when you look at it, there's a lot more detail. Like even lighting, even though even though they're small, super deformed, pixelated sprite, but you can see there is details. Like her hair, there is highlights, you can see the shine on it. Even this, you can see a little like highlight on, on his bandana and stuff. Like there is a lot of details here, even though it's just a like a 2D pixel art. And like this is what like these, this thing, this this version doesn't, doesn't capture this, they don't understand. The amount of detail in this. That's crazy, eh? even like 3D polygon games made for CRT, it's like there is a clear difference. They they made it with the CRT in mind. That is like that is mind boggling. Like this kind of blows my mind. Even uh, there's a few earlier, like the 3D polygons, they they are clearly made with CRTs in mind. Whoa! Look 
look at that difference. See, like, this, this thing is not bad, but when you look at this... Like, if you, if you don't look at this, then just look at this? Like, Robocop, it looks rough. Like, Robocop looks rough. This one, you can still make out some details. It's like, okay, okay, you, you know, it's not bad, but when you... And then, then you look at this, it's like, yeah. This is the shit. This is the shit. You see the clarity, the lightings, and all the... Oh, all the nuts and bolts. This is art. This is art. This is just like flat, right? It's just, they they kind of try to give you some illusion of like lighting here, but it's, everything looks flat. It doesn't work. And then this... Oh, boy. <sighs> I can stare at this for quite a while. Man, this is, this is a crazy difference. Yo, next time anyone, especially my parents, if they ask me why I'm keeping that, I, I, after all these years, I'm still keeping that CRT, I gotta show them these pictures. And this is why. This is why you keep your CRT TVs. We have a uh, Switch to Rage 2. So this is what we see these days. And, oh, look at that. Look at the, look at her skirt. You can see the highlights, the shine. Even even this guy's this jeans and everything. Let's go back to this for a sec. Like it's there, but it's just it doesn't look good. Man. And then the floor, the bricks. Hold on, let's go back to this. Yeah, like the the floor and, and the bricks, like it it looks like a mess. And here you can clearly tell, like these are individual bricks, the floor, it's like these type of stone, uh, stone tiles. You can clearly see the pattern. No need to, there's no need for me to say anything more. Oh, here is, we got MK. We got MK now. Here is raw pixels, which it's actually still still decent. You can you can still see a lot of the details here, right? which is pretty cool actually. And then, mm, wow, look at this, eh? Liu Kang, Jax, eh? Like, oh man, look look at the difference in Jax. Like you can you can see like the the details the lighting here, but it's, you can see all the pixels. It looks very flat, and then here, oh look at this! It's so good. It's so good. Just look at the flag. Just look at the flag, and then oh look at that flag! Jeez, what happened? How did we go from this to this? The magic of CRT, like Scorpion. Look at it. It's it's pretty rough, right? Over here, but over here, woo, beautiful. The statue could be a photo in, in CRT. Yeah, look at this. Okay, let's compare the two. Here, clearly, clearly, pixel art. Here, it's almost like yeah, it almost looks like someone took a picture of the real thing, with like a like an old old camera, kind of blurry, but. Man, it looks good. It looks beautiful. I think it's just it's just stretch, right? Because if you compare this to this, the huh? Well, this one is wider, right? It looks wider. That's probably because of the CRTs, right? The the, the nature of CRT is kind of it's kind of uh, curved, so it's maybe it makes the sprite look a little wider. Something happens in CRT where pixels get stretched. Yeah, I think it's because of the curve, right? The CRT is curved. You can tell how like this part, like it's it's not straight. It's a little round. Like this part, the top, it's a little round too, right? So I think that's the curve of the CRT, and that's what stretched the pixels. So I guess I I guess in this case they accounted for that too. This still looks great though. Right? Like I guess we have to give uh, 
rare a lot of credit for <laughs> even in raw pixels they they look crazy they look crazy good let's look at the clouds yeah the cloud look at here it's, it's kind of like a it looks really messy right here it looks a lot more natural Oh, Einhander. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad they included this. Let's compare it. Oh, so much better. Oh, so much better. Look at like the guns, the the me mechanical part here. You can barely make out what the, what these are. Oh, that's this. Uh, that's the other gun. See, it's it's you can barely tell. You can barely tell. And here you can see much better. Oh man, this is beautiful. And even the lights. Damn. What a difference. This is a big difference. Okay, let's make this the last one. This is the last one we'll look at. Like actually here, like in, in raw form, you can barely tell this is designed by uh, Toriyama. It just looks like a anime looking pixel portrait but here you can you can tell it's clearly it's clearly Toriyama's art like the shape of the eyebrow the eyes like the the mouth everything it has a much clearer distinction to it you can tell this is Toriyama's art <clears throat> where here it just looks kind of generic because you lose the, the clarity of the shape of everything like you can still make out what what each part is like the eyebrows the eyes and stuff but it loses that shape that unique shape like, e like even me sometimes i forget this is what we actually grew up with this is what we actually see back then because now when i play retro games this is this is all we see right this is all we see now we're all used to this and i think a lot of us have forgotten that this is what we actually grew up with this is what we see when we play games back then. The truth, the truth has surfaced. We have found the truth. And I'll never forget it again. So everyone remember this face. And this is true pixel art. This is what we should all strive for when we create pixel art. This here is this is art. I'm done. We're done, officially done for the first ever boomer talk. Thank you everyone for watching. <laughs> Let's go back to the game.